Hey day and future agripreneurs, we are so excited to share the incredible journey of our tomato and bell pepper seedlings as they take their first steps into adulthood. Today we embark on a significant milestone in our greenhouse project because our little tomato and bell pepper seedlings have outgrown their nursery pots and are ready to spread their roots in a more spacious and nurturing environment. So lovely and these guys are no more small boys. But before we go down into what we are talking about. Let me take you down to the memory lane of how the whole process started from the planting in the nursery stage to where we are now so first and first we got the seeds which are going to be used for planting for body tomatoes and the bell pepper see how beautiful they look and secondly we got our nursery trays which were filled with a mixture of cocoa peats and potting soil now for those who don't know what potting soil and cocoa peats are potting soil or growing media is made from decomposed pine barks and a mixture of other important ingredients needed for plant growth and they are used as a subject to grow plants they are soft and light and some of its function includes to retain moisture and nutrients around your plant's roots cocoa peat is an organic medium made from coconuts and it's frequently used in both hydroponics and seed sowing mixes its advantages include light and weight relatively inert and comes from a sustainable source now after filling our nursery trays with a mixture of cocoa peat and potting soil, the seeds are then sown gently on the surface of this mixture. Now the seeds are not sown too deep because seeds sown too deep will have a problem with germination. Then after the seeds are then sown, they are then covered with the same mixture of cocoa peat and potting soil. And then they are watered gently so as to retain moisture content. And after they have been watered, they are then taken to a dark room they are being kept for some days now the essence of keeping these in the dark room is actually to maintain constant humidity temperature and moisture which actually favors germination or some may say sprout and all of this is to help initiate the proper sprout after this specific days they were then taken from the dark room down to the greenhouse it's just like taking out a newborn baby from his mother's womb or her mother's womb into the natural environment the trays were then transferred to the greenhouse and they were watered adequately for the first four days and after which important chemicals like calcium nitrate and some amount of water were also used on the plant now the essence of the calcium nitrate is actually to stimulate root growth so as to produce healthy and vigorous plants and then the acticrop chemical diluted with water was also used on the plant vital chemicals like hydrogen peroxide phosphoric acid diluted were also used on the plant and then it released to the back containing substrate for drenching now the substrate is actually a medium a solid medium in which the plants are going to grow in and we will discuss more about this in details in our upcoming videos finally transplanting of the seedlings into the separate bag was carried out so happy for these guys because as these young plants continue their journey into adulthood they anticipate witnessing their transformation from tender saplings to robust tomato plants and bell pepper plants this is truly a testament to the wonders of nature and the joy of nurturing life stay tuned for updates on their development as we'll be sharing tips and insight on how to care for your own tomato and bell pepper plants together let's celebrate the beauty of nature and the rewarding journey of nurturing life from sea to heaven thanks for staying tuned we'd love to hear more from you and love to get your feedback about this video if you love this video please like comment your thoughts and then share it with you. See you in the next upcoming videos. Bye for now.